Good morning, America! <laughs> no. Good morning, everybody. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire, and this is Whispers in Ink. And we are going to be working on something I found, you guys. And I don't remember the story behind them. But I know that I put these four pieces of cardstock to the side for a reason, but I don't remember why. <laughs> so I'm hoping that whomever was the person that um, put those on the side for me, and I think it was, and I'm going to try and tag her, I think it was Christina Fisher, if I can get there. Good morning, Nancy. Oh, come on. I think it was Christina Fisher. Had something to do with... I We were doing color combos, I think, and... I pulled these four, I had these four pieces of cardstock out, and I've had them out for a while. So, and that is why probably I don't remember why. So, I'm going to flip the camera, and hopefully Christina will join us. Flip the camera, see if, hey Nancy, see if you remember why I have these four pieces of cardstock. And they were tucked behind my stamps so it was something 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 interesting i'm sure but anyways so i do have well i do have a couple of fun things to tell you about and i do have um let's see what else I'm distracted, you guys, because I was just talking to my sister, and I was talking to Lynn, and uh, we're going. Lynn and I are going plant shopping today, and I, it's very possible that my sister's coming tomorrow for a visit. She hasn't made it yet, but we'll see. <laughs> no, nope, Nancy doesn't remember. Well, dang it, Nancy. Okay, I have a plan if we don't remember what that was about anyways, so that's all right. But I want to talk about, oh my gosh, Nancy, I had so much fun last night. Um, I hope that you guys did too. I know you guys said that you did, so I'm, I know you're not going to lie to me because that's just stupid. But I want to talk a minute about Mystery Card Night because you still have a chance. You still have a chance. There is a window that if you head on over... Catch the replay and join the fun in regards to um, making the cards that we made. Because, and I know that Kim went and caught the replay. Nancy, I don't know if you can tag Kim or not. But anyways, um, so what we did, and I thought I was going to stump the, the girls with all these clues, um, but apparently not. We made our own designer series paper yesterday. This is what I have left. And I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to figuring out how I can use it. Um, good morning, Paula. Um, but these were the cards that we made. Here was the first card. And I don't think you guys can see that wink. Oh, yeah, you can. Just a little bit. Wink of Stella. I tapped some Wink of Stella on here. So we've got... Um, a book blindfold with a thank you, Paula, and um, a, an easel. And then we also did the, um, what I think I'm going to call as bridge card. Because that's, and we used a window sheet. So, anywho, those were the two cards that we made. Both fun folds. I know it's crazy. We did two fun folds. But anyways, I had a ball, had a ball, lots of tips, lots of tricks, and um, a whole bunch of fun. But anyways, 
So, I don't do drawings until um, Monday, typically. Monday, Monday, and Carmen, don't let me forget. Um, and I, Kim made a comment, she caught the replay, I, Kim made a comment about how she was glad that this stamp set carried over to the annual catalog, and I am too. I love the greenery. I love, and let me bring that DSP back, you guys. I, and I'll bring the small piece. But I love when, hey Kay, Oh, I'm so glad that you had fun, Kay. That makes me happy. Good morning, Miss Kim. I was talking about you. Um, I wanted to point out, look at how, now this is a rubber stamp, you guys. That's a rubber stamp. I love this stamp set because look at that depth that you get because of the way that that stamp is constructed. I didn't do anything. That's a straight stamp, you guys. That stamp does all that gorgeousness for us. And it just makes it so easy to look so pretty. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, yes. Yes, I agree. Totally, totally agree. Anyways. So, anyways. Hey, Kim. I posed a question in the beginning. Maybe you'll remember. I did tag Christina in case she's around, but and maybe Paula. I don't know. I had these four pieces of cardstock put to the side, and I don't remember why. I knew it had to do with color, color combos, and I don't know if we were working with um um light light and darks because that's kind of the combo that i see here yeah apparently he does exactly paula he has a lot to say this morning a lot but anyways I don't know if you guys are going to remember. We're going to use these colors today because I'm, I'm. eventually I know it'll come to me. Or eventually the person who I pulled these colors for will watch the replay, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, one other little tidbit here. And I don't know why. Okay. Um... One other little tidbit, you guys. I was, after Mystery Card Night, I cleaned up because I knew that I wasn't going to do it in the morning. I knew I wasn't. So, cleaned up the mess, put most of the stuff away in case people wanted to ask me questions about um, about the stamp set. I had the stamp set and, and stuff. Kim doesn't remember either. Sue. Oh, how many cards did you get out of your little 8.5 by 11 DSP there, Sue? Four so far? Woohoo! Good morning, Lynn. Um, good morning, by the way, Sue. Anyways, so I got done with all that stuff, and then, you guys, I went down because I still have seeds down in the basement. It's been too hot to bring stuff outside. I mean, like, way too hot. Um, I have my hibiscus out on the porch. But my poor dahlia seeds, they so needed to be repotted, so that's what I did. After my live, I kind of got totally engrossed down there with cleaning stuff up. So I don't think I went to bed until like midnight. <laughs> Probably after that. Ooh, five cards. Still have small piece left. Okay, good. Oh, thank you. This would be... This would be my highlighter that you gave me for Christmas. And that's that green. I love that green. And, of course, my brown. But, by the way, I need to put in an order. And, and you need to charge me for it this time. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Alright, so let's get back to these colors here. So we've got... Calypso Coral, Real Red, Coastal Cabana, and the Bermuda Bay. 
But I kind of want to do a little tweak, you guys. I like the real red with the Coastal Cabana, but what if, what if we pull in my new favorite in color? Calypso Coral and um, Sweet Sorbet. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what if we did this color combination? What do you guys think about that? I'm actually super duper loving the Sweet Sorbet with the Coastal Cabana. But what do you guys think of these four colors together? Lynn likes the Sweet Sorbet much better. Okay. I'm going to grab some. I forgot to grab my ink, you guys. So hang on. I do have to say, you guys, I find this interesting because we're going across three different color families, lovely colors. Okay, three different color families. So we've got in color, we've got a subtle, and then we've got some brights in here. But I like that whole palette together. Very beachy, exactly. Very summer. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. Completely. With that being said, I'm thinking that... Do, do, do. We're going to go in this area, the on horizon with the greenery and the birds and the relax and enjoy your day, but we're going to make it a happy birthday card. I was thinking beachy too, which is why I was thinking these little, um, the little grasses. So, or should we go a different direction? Should we go flowers? Because... You know that the teacup set totally lends with all of these colors. So that's the question. Beachy or flowers? So that's what I need to know as I sip my coffee in my sweet sorbet cup. You guys, I've been using this a lot. I do really, really like it. And I do have to tell you a story about these cups because, oh, Susan W. says beachy. Lynn says beachy. Sue says beachy. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going crazy today. Okay. So I want to tell you a little story about this cup, you guys. So I know that it's difficult to find cups that when they get knocked over, that the whatever liquid you have on the inside, water, tea, juice, adult beverage, coffee, whatever, that it doesn't drip out all over the place. Had card class on Tuesday, you guys, and I was arranging the table with the cut and emboss and moving stuff around. And I knocked over my glass. And it almost fell on the floor, but it didn't. And I had paper everywhere. I mean, like, everywhere. And... Oh. Um, anyways, um... I, not a drip, not one single drip of liquid, which was, it was, mine was coffee. You, I'm sure you're so surprised at that. Um, so not one drip any place. And I want you guys to know, these cups are available to everybody. And here's the other bonus part. I, on occasion, when I'm in a hurry, we have um, a Keurig. And I use that. But I use the big setting. 
And, of course, I put cream in my coffee. I'm not putting as much cream in my coffee as I have been. Um, I'm trying to cut back. But um, I have to say that there is still a ton of room left. I mean, like a ton. Good morning, Susan P. So, let me know if you have questions about the cup. That's the long and the short of the story. All right, so. Reminds me of the pool that Kendra was looking at. It's very beachy, yes. Yeah, I know where you want to go. You, unfortunately, Polly, you're probably going to get outvoted. Because apparently beachy is the theme today. So we're going beachy. Susan P., you missed it. I was looking at this color palette. And I don't know if it was you, but I had four cardstock colors out, you guys. Sue, so I had... Oh, yes. When shopping, do the search for Glimmer. There you go. Kim already knows because she already ordered hers. Um, I had these four cardstock. Actually, it was real red. We did a little bit of tweaking. <coughs> um, these four colors, the real red, the Calypso Coral, the Coastal Cabana, and the Bermuda Bay, I had them put aside. And I had them put aside for a reason, and I don't remember why. So, but I switched the real red to sweet sorbet. I liked the softer color that I, we still love you though, Paula. You guys, give Paula some love. Cause she's being outvoted. She wanted teacups. Poor Paula. Anyways. Alright, so this is our theme that we're going, our color palette. And we'll go beachy. I just need to figure out what we're going to do. Hmm. Lots of possibilities. So, next question. Beachy theme. I want to use all of those colors in one card. Do you think I can pull it off? Hmm. Oh, pity party for Paula. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm grabbing some things, you guys. Grabbing some things. The brain wants to work today. It's trying. It is trying for sure. So what do you guys think? All four colors on one card? Or two cards? And we'll split them off. You guys got to talk to me. Share with me. Come join the adventure with me. Apparently I didn't put all the things away that I needed to put away. I'm thinking one. All on one. Sue says all on one. Okay. Do I get a neutral? I do get a neutral, right? All four? Everybody says all four. Okay. I'm pulling in a neutral. Actually, this could be super easy. Four on one. Everybody says, oh, you guys are... You guys... Okay, so, I'm thinking since we're going beachy, and, and you guys are going to throw me a bone, I'm, I'm going to pull it in the crumb cake. Are you guys on board with that? I actually like that. I need to get some crumb cake ink. That looks like 
looks like green. And if we're going for New Horizons, oh, I see that thumbs up. If we're going for New Horizons, I'm going to grab the die cuts because, you know, we're going to need some die someplace. Crumb cake's going to be my go-to choice. Because, you know, we got to have some wood in here. Actually, I don't think this one piece is going to be enough. Let's grab the scrap bin for the crumb cake. Alright. So, my neutral crumb cake which you guys, crumb cake is my go-to neutral. If you're new here, you will learn to love some crumb cake because that is my go-to neutral. All right, and I'm thinking we need to pick, we need to pick a, The idea is already coming, you guys. I'm sure you're not shocked. We're going to pick a light color. We're going to go with the Coastal as our card base, you guys. So, Coastal Cabana with a crumb cake top. Think, think going to the beach and the boardwalk and all of that. So, that's where we're going to go. And huh. Fun fold or not to fun fold? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. What should we do? I know you guys will all say fun fold because we all love a good fun fold. But I'm trying to think. Which one to use? <laughs> I don't want to use ones that we used last night. And. Hmm. <laughs> I think we might keep it simple, you guys. I think we're just going to go with a regular fold. Hello, Christina Fisher. Christina, why do I have these four colors? I know it was you. I'm almost positive. Yeah, yeah. Right, Susan W. I know. Why do I have these four colors out? And actually, it was real red. Do you remember? I'm almost positive, Christina, that we talked about doing a card with these four colors, but I don't remember what the story was. Do you remember? Now, I did do a little tweak. I took the real red out, and I added the sweet sorbet instead. Color wheel? Maybe... Maybe that was it. I don't remember. Anyways, we're making a card. All four colors plus crumb cake. Okay. Yeah, I know you guys will pick a fun fold if I ask you. I think, I think, I think, let's see. like to do, you know what, let's do an easy fun fold, and I'm going to have to tweak my, my cut. All right. Hmm. Huh. 
Huh. <laughs> okay. What if What if Didn't we do that last? Oh, I did that for Okay, so Maybe that's what it was. I don't even remember. Okay, maybe that's what it was. Who here visits my YouTube channel on occasion? Do you get notifications when you get, um, when I upload videos, which is now twice a week, I'm just saying. Although, today's will be over there on Thursday. I think you're right. I think that was your wedding colors. I do. I think. I think you are correct. Anyways, um, because I did a fun fold over there, and I think we're gonna do it today. Oh, Susan P gets them. Paula gets them. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm doing two scores because I think this will be cool. I'm doing two scores. This is my card front. Okay, but we're not done because we're going to, we're going to cut this. Hold your breath. Did you hit the bell, Paula? Yes, I do have an evil smile on occasion. I do, I do. That just means we're having fun. That's what I say. All right. Get most of that. Most of that. All right. So, cutting on the diagonal. There we go. And... Paula will look. Next time you're over, we'll look. All right, so I'm cutting this up. I did this a couple weeks, this fun fold, a couple weeks ago. And it makes for two. So you now have two. I want it, wait a minute, this way, this way, right? Nope, this way. Makes two, right? Isn't that the way I want it? No, I want it this way. Yeah, okay, sorry you guys. Fun fold. Um, these, they're, everything is all over on my YouTube channel, Lynn. But it is just four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so here's what we're doing. You guys want to see the sample? I can go, I actually know where the sample is. So I can actually quick go get it if you guys want to see the sample. All right, so we've got Coastal Cabana is our, is our, um, do, 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 is our card base. There we go. And here is the fold. Ba, ba, ba. Let me, I'll go grab the sample. Samples. Here's the sample. Look at, look at, look at. I'm working on cards for coloring class next month, you guys. There we go. And then here's the yellow version just for Paula. <clears throat> so pretty. All right. But we're not going to be using DSP this time. We are 
And I want to cut this down just a little bit for a little bit more reveal. Oh, there you go, Sue. There you go. All right, so I'm going to trim this down just a little bit because I like that reveal. Oh, yeah, almost messed that one up. Woo! Almost gave that one too much of a hair curl. You know what, Christina? You got to show that cardstock who's boss because mine wasn't perfect either. And if you notice, this one is not either. This one buckles up here. You have to be super, 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 super conscientious about where your score goes. So you need to really be as much on the money as you can. And here's the other thing. Check your cardstock and make sure that it's actually eight and a half by 11 because sometimes some cardstock is just a, a scotch, if that even, like a hair too long and that jacks it up too. So anyways, all right. So here we go. I'm going to put this aside. I don't know what we're going to do with that. So we've got our Coastal Cabana. And we're going to do Bermuda Bay next. I'm going to cut this one this way because I've already, I've already chopped into this one. This one's going to be behind the crumb cake. So this and then this will go on top of this. So there's two of our colors. There and there. And we could be super sneaky. Could be super sneaky and do an eighth of an inch and do each of the two colors. Let's see what that looks like because I'm curious about that. I'm curious. We're gonna do this and this. Here's where, you guys, here's where you need to pay attention because I almost cut my paper this way, but I really want to cut my paper this way. that. I know I have a piece of coral in there that I can cut. Coral. That. Nope, that's not going to work. Use that one. We have lots of coral, apparently. I think something got cut incorrectly. Ooh, have fun at the movie, Susan. Okay, so same thing. Watch what your angle is for your cut. What if we did... that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Next. All right, I'm going back to this. I think this is better. You guys agree? I think this is better. That and that. And then do, do, do. 
I think we need to create a boardwalk first with this. Wrong colors. That's what I'm looking for. Crumb cake ink. That one's not big enough. Card base is going this way. So we're going to create one single boardwalk. here and I'm flipping it over because I'm lining it kind of lining it up kind of it won't line up exactly but it comes close And I'm just doing it along the bottom, just like that. I think I could have probably lined that up better, but it is what it is at this point. I did a whole card, you guys. I die cut all those out. I stamped them and I die cut them out and I fit them together. So they're kind of a little wonky, but I thought it was pretty cool. Something different to do. And then I used the designer series paper on that leaf pattern. Kept it simple. But I love how it lines up. Ish. Alright, so we got that. And then, I think... I know what we're going to do. We're going to take these two and here's our dies. And then I need a scrap of Bermuda Bay. I should have one here somewhere. Okay. I do have ribbon. You guys, I think I'm going through ribbon withdrawals. So we need to do ribbon today. Those are really good for gift bag tags. Yeah, I would agree. So we've got our cut and emboss. Christina, it was it was a, a labor of love to get it to work. It just took some patience. I cut out a bunch of them and I um I um fit them together. It was just a matter of finagling. Can't get my paper I need, you guys. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I'm cutting my paper because I won't be able to fit it in the mini. So, cutting it up so I can fit them on here. All right, we're going to do a Bermuda. Bermuda Bay is such a hot color right now, you guys. Oh, Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana are totally trendy colors right now, if you follow that kind of thing. All right, 
I think we need one more. There we go. All right, you guys. Should we do two sweet sorbets so that it backs up like this and highlights that coral? Or should we do two corals like that? So, coral or so sorbet? Tahitian Tide would be pretty with them. Yes, it would be. Tahitian Tide with the Coastal and the Bermuda look amazing. Actually, it's a little too blue. Okay, so Paula says coral and Sue says sorbet. So somebody's got to be a deciding factor here. I thought it would have been too, Paula. Not so much. Too blue. These are a little bit more green. More yellow, I think, is what it would be, technically. So, you guys need to see what I'm looking or what I'm thinking about. Is that what the holdup is here? All right. So, I'm thinking that we're going to do a couple sprigs of that with a fence and then a sentiment. And then we have used all of the colors. Look at this. Susan W. says coral. Look at how cool that's going to be. I think that's going to be really pretty. Okay, we got to tie again. I don't know. I think both would be really pretty. No distractions while card making there, Kim. Nancy Franklin, you need to be the tiebreaker. Figure one way or the other, I'm going to use it. Come on. Just tossing things around this morning, so hang on. Or K, or K, is it you that's still here? Oh, well, yeah. The UPS man coming is a good distraction for sure. That's a very good distraction. Oh, coral. Okay. Oh, Lynn's saying sorbet now. Oh, you guys. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put one on the front, and we'll do one, the one sprig that's left, we'll put it on the inside. All right. So, here we go. Do, do, do. So here is the coral this way, or I think both would work. I love the color combo with this coral and the sorbet, you guys. That's a good one for sure. And then here's the sorbet. Without my fingers in it. I know my purple nail polish is a distraction. Ha ha.
All right, I think we're going with the coral for the front. And we'll put this the sorbet in the inside. And here's how I'm going to do it. You guys are going to love this. We're going to go all the way to the end because we've got, remember, we've got overage here. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to glue this one too. We've got this one coming, peeking in just like that. And then, whoops. And then this one, I'm coming in with a dimensional. With mini dimensionals, I should say. Because, you know, the regulars wouldn't fit. I agree, Susan. That's actually a really good idea. That's a real good way of thinking it. So thinking about it. Susan says that she likes the um, sorbet as the background because it is a darker color. Exactly. I agree. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm taking my little mini dimensional pieces off. And we're going to put those on here. But I'm going to put glue on this part. I'm singing a song in my head. Kim, you would know what it is. I started humming it in my head when I started talking about the boardwalk. All right. And then we're going to take our fence up here. And I'm going to do the same thing, you guys. I'm, I know I should have, um, you guys, why do we always forget about those um, foam sheets? I always forget about those. Drives me crazy. And the adhesive sheets, because I could have used those too. I mean, I guess it's a great way to use up your edges of your your mini dimensionals. Let's go with that. All right. No. The second one. Exactly. When I started talking about boardwalk and that, who sang that? Was that Ben Midler? For some reason, she keeps popping in my head. Oh, pretty, pretty. All right. Something completely different here, you guys. Wow. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so here we go. Here's our front. I'm going to do the relax on the front. Just the relax. So we're going to use some masking technique. This one's kind of easy with the exception of that part of the X. Oh, 
Oh, the original version was the Drifters. There we go, Paula. Okay, so here's our card front so far. We're going to take our Relax. See, you guys, I can do more than just flowers. I think when I did this, because it's been a while, you guys, since I've played with this stamp set, which I know it's not fair, I notched out my tape. Can you guys see that? How about there? There we go. I notched out my tape for that X. We'll still be here when you get back. Don't worry, Lynn. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Okay. Notch that out. And then here's my tip for masking, you guys. If you're not able to use just one piece, make sure that it overlaps. And I try to use the flat side up against my letters. I love it, Paula. Okay, so here's our relax, and we will only get that. But you know what the key is here, you guys, and I didn't do it? Is make sure to clean it with your chamois first. Because that way then you don't have to worry about any residual ink on there. Clean first, then tape. There we go. Clean first, then tape. And is that going to be big enough? Yes, it will. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What color should we use? I need a dark color. So we got Sorbet or Bermuda Bay. Those are the color options for our sentiment. Bermuda or Sorbet? BB or SS? BB or SS? And you guys, I'm going with the vanilla for my inside because we I like vanilla better with the crumb cake. SS so far. Two sweet sorbets. Paula says Bermuda Bay. And you can't vote twice, Paula. Only once. I could go with, a, I did grab the soft suede, but I think that color would be better. Somebody's got to vote with Paula. This will be part of our inside. Nice try though, Paula. Nice try. I guess it's a resounding. Oh, there we go, Paula. Bermuda Bay. All right, so now we need a tiebreaker. We got two Bermuda Bays and two sweet sorbets. And Nancy, you cannot vote twice either. Because our relaxed sentiment is going to be like about right in here, you guys. I got to see where, how big it is. Susan, you're going, you're shifting gears, Susan? <gasps> oh my. Susan W is shifting. Let's see what it looks like. We'll stamp both. How's that? 
Do, do, do. All right, so don't forget to pull your, your tape up. And because I'm using two different colors, we're going to... Yeah. Well, that's too fast. Do, do, do. Same size. Okay. All right, so here's the the Bermuda Bay. Let me clean this and let's look and see what the sweet sorbet says. <laughs> Paula Susan had your back. You guys, we have so much fun. I am so grateful that we have this much fun. There we go. All right, so we're going to flip that over and see what the sweet sorbet looks like. Because sometimes you think it's going to look good, uh, unless you mess up the stamp. Too much ink. All right, take a breath. Do, do, do. No wobbling. All right, so here we go. Here's our card, our layer. So here's the... Here's the relax. Oh, here I'll get you closer. Hang on. Here's the relax in the Sore Bay, and here's the relax in the Bermuda Bay. Which do we like better? Bermuda Bay or Sweet Sore Bay? I know what I like. But I'm not going to say anything. Sweet Sorbet, SS or BB, which do we like better? One more time. Sweet Sorbet or Bermuda Bay? Lynn says sweet sorbet. Susan W. says sweet sorbet. See, it looks a little bit darker, too. Here, let me get you a little bit closer. Here you go. It looks darker on that crumb cake. Paula, what do you think? Either one, Paula says. Okay. I think I like the sweet sorbet too. And that made my decision was stamping it and looking at it. I need to trim this edge off because apparently it got in the ink. Kim, I know you're distracted by all of your goodies. The Bermuda Bay does look green, doesn't it? I agree. That's actually why I switched.
Alright, so I'm taking the Sweet Sorbet ribbon, the Glimmer ribbon, and I'm making a bunny ear bow. And I'm sticking that behind. Yeah. Love it. Need a big dimensional. Gonna hear some Velcro. Uh-oh. I know what, I know what Kim got. You guys, Kim got her Stampin' Blends for her new ink colors. Just a little bit of bling. This is going to be our bling. Just like that. Oh, you guys, that looks so pretty. What do you think? I think it looks pretty. I want to share something with you. You you mentioned Velcro there, Miss Kim. You are really going to be causing some trouble now. Where is it? Right here. Yes, indeed. I don't have the new ones. However, I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. Kim? Okay, so who has some of the faux sea glass? Anybody? Joe's going in and out because he's working on some stuff, Paula. I bet you did, Kim. Exactly. We need rocks. But I'm going to use the sea glass because I can make it the color I want. You guys, this sea glass, the white ones or the clear ones, You can color with your Stampin' Blends. We're going to do three coral ones. And, and I did dark. And where's my Bermuda Bay? And we're going to do light Bermuda Bay ones. Oh, I'll be careful. I think we'll have to go with the dark. I think my light is dry. Hopefully this one won't be. Nope. There's that. Let's get this this hopper back over here. What do you think, Susan? Susan said we need some rocks. 
I think I can oblige you on that. There we go. All right, so there's our sea glass colored in coral and Bermuda Bay. Love it. I'm out of the New Horizon racks, so that will do. All right, so here's, here's how it's going to come together. I know we still have to stamp our our inside yet. Let's not forget. I'm gluing to this bottom piece. Like that. Close this up. Make sure your corners meet. Kind of like the card last night. Okay. There we go. So here's our card front. Here's our inside. Now we need to do our inside piece. So there's, we've got our sweet sorbet grass that we're going to glue in here. This one you want to keep in your piece of um, cardstock. Couldn't think of the word for a minute. I'm going to clean this one more time. Make sure that that's got no ink on it. And then I gotta dry it. And here you go, Paula. We'll do Bermuda Bay on the inside. So I'm covering up the relaxed part. Apparently my hands are shaky this morning, you guys. What's up with that? And no, it's not too much coffee because I'm on my first cup. Okay, there's the tape. Relax and enjoy your day. And then we'll lift this up. There we go. There we go. Very crooked, but guess what? That's okay. And then I'll go on our inside. What do you think? Yay. Hey, I have a tip for you, Kim. Wash those in a bowl. T Kim found morels in her backyard. Wash them in a bowl and then take the water from that bowl and go put it back where you found them. Because you might get some spores in the water and that way then you'll be planting it. Just a tip. I heard somebody else talking about it, and I thought that was a really cool idea. Farm charm. Yeah. All right, so here's our card. 
using th four, technically five, with the crumb cake. Five different colors. So we've got Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Sweet Sorbet, and all the things that go with it. So here's the card, and there's how it opens and our inside. How did we do? How did I do? I think I did pretty good. I said, ooh, goodness gracious. Big gust of wind that just went through you guys. Knock something over. No idea. Well, the crumb cake, I think, helps ground all the colors. Gives it a neutral place to sit. At least that's what I'm going with. All right, you guys. So, the other big tip for this one is you need to score these really, really burnish your edges on this. It won't sit 100% flat, you guys. Unless, and that's as, as flat as I can get it. So it's sitting up about like that. No, I'm not worried about rain. Lynn and I are going plant chopping. Plant chopping in the rain is fun. At least I say so. That's what the greenhouses are for. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Sue loves it. If you don't have any questions, I have a trip to make. I still have plenty of coffee, too. You guys, this is my first cup of coffee, and it's still, I've only taken a couple swigs. Yep, so I hope that everybody has a great day getting crafty. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, what do we do? We share it so that others can enjoy the videos with us too. All right, you guys, have a great day getting crafty, and I won't see you until Wednesday. Bye!